I am at the New York Botanical Gardens, which is a botanical wonderland. And I love plants. I love all plants. I understand that not all people love all plants, but here's a plant that everybody should love. It's right here. So right here, check out this amazing plant. Looks like this, and it's in its, its perfect ecosystem. It's right along this wetland area where it's just watery. And the thing about this water right here is it's just fed by rainwater. And rainwater doesn't have a lot of nutrients. It's basically the stuff that comes out of the clouds, which is pretty much 100% H2O. Not a lot of nutrients. So plants that grow in this sort of environment are struggling to get the kind of nutrients that they need to survive. Like, uh, like fertilizer, basically. So this plant has to go and trap its nutrients. And let me just show you this plant. It's called a pitcher plant, and it's a carnivorous plant. More specifically, well, it's insectivorous. It eats a lot of insects. But if a, a tree frog would fall in there or a little small mouse or something like that, then it certainly would be carnivorous meat eater. It's a meat eater. And this plant, let me show you. So it's composed of this big long stalk that comes up and where it's growing is this kind of sphagnum type habitat. Um, yeah, not a lot of nutrients, but this plant has this big long stalk and then it comes up here and it has this sort of leopard skin paint job. And it's basically composed of a tube. You, you can look down in there yeah, it goes way deep down in there. And down at the bottom of these uh, stalks, let me see, here's one right here. So if you go down here at the bottom of the stalk right here, well, inside there is liquid that's composed of digestive juices, like acids. And so, there are scents oftentimes emitted by this plant that attract certain insects. The insects will go onto this tube of this plant right at the rim here. And since this tube is covered in a really slippery wax, I'll see if I can get real close, but it's covered in this like slippery wax up on top. And so the insect goes on top, lands on that little rim there and does a little uh, balancing act trying to figure out what that smell is, can sense that there's moisture down there, something intriguing, and it winds up slipping off that waxy lip and down into those digestive juices, all those acids that are down below. Now, also, if you notice, okay, and then when, as it gets digested, then it digests it into just, rather than it being a fly or a beetle or a spider, it gets digested into this like nutritious slurp like as if you were to put meat in acid. And then that's how the plant digests the, the nutrients that it needs, gets the nutrients that it needs. Um, but you see also, you see how it has this really cool paint job. You can look behind it and it's almost like uh, they're like little windows. Well, and also it has a little lid up on top. Well, the lid, notice how it's raining right now. If it didn't have a lid, rainwater would flow right into this tube and, and basically dilute all of those digestive acids, which wouldn't be good and make the plant as effective. So it has a little built-in umbrella. You see how they all have them? They're like a little built-in umbrella. So rainwater does not dilute the acids that are inside. And then it has these, these windows as a way to, if the fly had a way to try to escape that tube and could fly, it would keep flying and try to grab onto all these windows thinking that it's a way out because it's light, but pretty much they're all smooth inside. So the fly will just keep grabbing at this like sheer waxy wall. And then eventually because of fatigue and all that stuff, it's eventually just gonna fall into those digestive juices and be dissolved. And then it will be digested by the plant, which makes this plant totally awesome. Yes. It is called the pitcher plant. Very, very awesome plant. And one time I was helicoptered into this incredibly remote rainforest, like 
basically no man's land. Nobody has really been there. I got helicoptered in, jumped off the helicopter into this big swamp, and there were pitcher plants that were this high, like as high as me. I've never seen anything like it. It was totally awesome. I wish I had a camera, um, but uh, yeah, really cool. Really beautiful, beautiful plant. I love them. If you like what you've just seen, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.